Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today we are going to discuss one small topic which is not only important for the understanding of how blood glucose level is regulated but also important for the understanding of diabetes mellitus that is glucose transporters. Today we will discuss definition of glucose transporters, what are the characteristic of glucose transporters and in the end we will see what are the various examples of glucose transporters along with neat PG multiple choice question. Glucose transporters. Glucose transporters are the group of glucose carriers which are present on the surface of cells. Unlike sodium dependent transport which is unidirectional, glucose transport by glucose transporters is bidirectional. Now we will see what are the characteristic of this glucose transporter. The first characteristic is they carried out passive process which is down the concentration gradient. Second characteristic is it is bidirectional process. Third characteristic is transport of glucose by glucose transporter is the example of facilitative diffusion that means Transport is from higher concentration to the lower concentration. Fourth characteristic is glucose transporters are the sodium independent. And the fifth characteristic is transport of glucose by glucose transporter occurs by ping pong mechanism. Now what is this ping pong mechanism? So this is the picture explaining the ping pong mechanism. The glucose is getting Binding to the transporter which is present on the one side of the membrane. Once it gets bind and it gets fixed to the glucose transporter, there will be the conformational change will occur in the complex. Due to this conformational change, now the binding site is exposed to the inner side of the membrane. Once this binding site is exposed to the inner side of the membrane, glucose will be released into the, into the bloodstream. This mechanism is known as the ping pong mechanism. First state is the ping state and the second state is the pong state. So that is the ping pong mechanism. Now we will see what are the various examples of glucose transporter. The first example is glucose transporter 1 which is important for the basal glucose transport in RBC, brain, kidney and in placenta. Second glucose transporter is the glucose transporter 2. The transport of glucose by glucose transporter 2 is insulin independent. It is present in liver and beta cells of pancreas. And this glucose transporter 2 has a high KM and low affinity for the glucose. As it is present in the beta cells of pancreas and it has a high KM value for the glucose, it can sense high amount of glucose and it can release the insulin accordingly. It plays important role in the blood glucose level regulation. Third glucose transporter is the glucose transporter 3 and it is present in the neurons, placenta and kidney and it had got high affinity for the glucose. Mind well glucose transporter which is present in the brain is the glucose transporter 1. While glucose transporter which is present in the neurons is the glucose transporter 3. The major glucose transporter present in the RBC is the glucose transporter 1. Fourth glucose transporter is present in the heart, skeletal muscle and adipose tissue. And the glucose transporter, glucose transport via glucose transporter 4 is insulin dependent. That's why in the diabetes mellitus as there is an insulin deficiency, so this tissue that is skeletal muscle and adipose tissue will be affected in the diabetes mellitus. Glucose transporter 4 is the insulin dependent. Another glucose transporters which are insulin dependent or insulin responsive is the glucose transporter 8 which is present in the blastocyte and glucose transporter 12 which is present in the mammary gland, prostate and white adipose tissue. The example of glucose transporter which are insulin dependent are three examples. One is the glucose transporter 4, another is the glucose transporter 8 and the third one is the glucose transporter 12. Then glucose transporter 5. Glucose transporter 5 is exclusively for the transport of fructose. It is present in the small intestine, testes and sperm. Then 
Another glucose transporter is the glucose transporter 6. That is the example of pseudogen that is not expressed into the protein. And the last glucose transporter is the glucose transporter 7 which is present in the liver endoplasmic reticulum. It takes part in the diffusion of glucose from the endoplasmic reticulum. That is all about glucose transporter. Now we will see multiple choice question. The first question is glucose transport in myocyte stimulated by insulin. And the glucose transport in myocyte stimulated by insulin. And the options are 1, 2, 3 and 4. As we have seen, there are three examples of glucose transporters which are insulin dependent. First one is the glucose transporter 4, second one is the glucose transporter 8 and the third one is the glucose transporter 12. So the correct answer over here is the glucose transporter 4. Second question is facilitate transport of glucose that is insulin insensitive takes place in and the options are skeletal muscle, liver, adipose tissue and heart. So the question is transport of glucose which is insulin insensitive that means insulin independent. So the transport of glucose in the skeletal muscle, adipose tissue and heart it is the insulin dependent. Transport of glucose in the liver via glucose transporter 2 is the insulin independent. So the correct answer is B. E. Third and last question is glucose transporter present in the RBC and the options are 1, 2, 3 and 4. The glucose transporter present in the RBC is the glucose transporter 1. The correct answer is 1. That is all about today's video.